In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite strategies for defending the five wide offense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become through doing daily videos like this to help you get better on both the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with everything that is happening here on the channel. All right, guys, so in today's video, we're talking about the cover four show two, the cover four quarters out of the nickel three, three, five wide. And we're going to be talking about this defense as it pertains to five wide. I've been getting a lot of questions about how to stop five wide. And so I wanted to dive a little bit into this. Now, if you actually have my three, three, five wide defensive guide, you're going to notice that there are several ways that you can be defending this formation. And so this is just one of those ways. So if you want to get my full defensive guide out of the nickel 335 wide. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description and you can get that defense for just 15 bucks down below. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be audibly from 335 down to 335 wide into that cover four show two. And you're going to see that it's going to look basically like this. Now what I like to do um, against five wide is I actually like to use I like to change the zones. I don't like to use quarter flats. And the reason I don't like to use quarter flats is because quarter flats don't match on as well in a five wide scenario. They match on a lot better in like a trip scenario, but not in a five wide scenario. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and put both of my linebackers onto seam flats. As you can see right here, they're gonna both be put into seam flats. With the slot corner, what I like to do with him is I typically just like to man him up onto the R1 receiver, just like this right here. And then I'm gonna drop one of my defensive linemen and it really doesn't matter which one, um, but typically it's gonna be the three wide receiver side. So I'm gonna drop this left of, or this right of screen guy into a three red hook zone. And what you're going to see is that this is going to create a lot of really, really good field coverage. The primary responsibility that you are going to have as a user is you are going to need to be responsible for the left side of the field. That's one of the most important things. The left side middle is what you're gonna be looking for. But what you're gonna notice is that these seam flats will match on very nicely to this little uh, glitchy route that a lot of people like to use called the middle high low. And that's one of the things that you can really take care of a lot. Another thing that you can get um, through using this defense is, like I said, you're just going to be putting both of your linemen on or your linebackers onto seam flats, and then you're going to man up your slot corner onto, you know, pretty much anyone you want. If you want to man him up on the left side, that's fine. If you want to man him up on the right side, it's really that's fine too. It's not the big, you know, that's not the big big thing we want to hit on. We just want to man him up on whoever we think um, is going to be the problem. And so the cool part about this is the more that people um, you know, the more that people try to, you know, basically glitch this out, the better the coverage is actually going to play because the cover four quarters is really built for five wide. And when you when you put the seam flats in with it, the seam flats do a very nice job of matching. And so pretty much your job is, you know, if there's any deep crossing route that gets loose or something like that, that's something that you want to take care of. Now, one thing I will say, and I want to jump into instant replay and kind of break this down for you really quickly. One thing you can do as far as who you man up that slot corner on, if you take a look here, um, unfortunately, so seam flats, what they do, if you look on this left side, you see that they match a vertical route. So like if, if he goes vertical, then the seam flat is going to go with him. As you can see, it just kind of matches him right up the seam really, really nicely. Um, on the left side, we pretty much have everything taken care of. Now on the right side, if you watch this linebacker on the right, he is in uh, a seam flat. And as you can see here, he doesn't, uh, go man to man because that guy's already matched man to man. He's also got a, a quarter zone over the top. So my recommendation would actually be okay. We need to take that knowledge and we need to turn that into a different adjustment. So um, instead of manning up the slot onto the slot, like I said, it's not the big deal that he's manned up on the slot. It's the big deal that he's just manned up on somebody. And so what you can do is you can man him up on the tight end, just like this right here, and. You know, basically now it, it really doesn't matter what they do. If they try to shoot you up the seams, you're going to have really, really good field coverage regardless on this. So if you see here, your seam flats are going to match accordingly. You just have everything bagged over the top. Anything vertical is going to get matched like it should be. So that's my recommendation and the way that I would recommend defending five wide, at least to start with. Again, what we're going to do is we're going to go to that cover four show two. We're going to put both of our linebackers into flat zones. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to man that slot corner up on the tight end, as you can see right here. And if you are worried about getting bombed, then you can just take this corner right here and put him into like a, a deep middle, middle third or something like that. But as you're going to be able to see here, I mean, we've taken everything away. Um, even that little prop, that crossing post route to the R1 receiver is taken away by the match coverage. So thanks for watching this video. Like I said, if you want to get my nickel 335 wide defensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. It is the best defense in the game. It allows you to be able to play every aspect of defense. You can play match coverage, blitzing, you can stop the run, you can play zone drops, and you can play really, really solid man coverage because of the alignment of the formation is what makes it so special. So thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is 208-218-6900. And if you want to get that 335 wide defensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description and you can get that for just 15 bucks by using that link.